Welcome to another episode of Bee's Knees. I am Dr. Maria B., your holistic physician, here to help you take back your life. <laughs> I don't even remember what I do. It's been so long. What do I do after that? Welcome to another episode of Bee's Knees. I am Dr. Maria B., your holistic physician, here to help you take back your life. Now, normally I, you know, have this set format where I, I read a letter um, that someone sends to me and I allow them to ask whatever questions they may have to help solve problems or make things better in, in one's life. And today, since we're transitioning into a new year, so Happy New Year to you. Welcome to 2015. Um, I thought that it would be very important to start the new year off talking a little bit about Dr. B, a little bit about me and my journey and how I've come to um, be who I am and why I am who I am. And I think it's important to start at a place that was the scariest for me. And the scariest place for me to be is to wake up one day to find out that I've been diagnosed with breast cancer. What do you do once you've been told that your life is changing? Once you've been told that everything is going to have to be different? Well, let's talk about what went through me when I first found it out. When I first found it out, I, um, I found, found out, um, I walked in and I knew that I was going to be told that I was, you know, that I had a malignant tumor. And I had already decided in my mind during the first time that I was facing this um, that I didn't want to go through chemo. I didn't, I didn't want to do any of that. Um, what I realized today of why I said that was because um, some of it was fear that I just was, you know, too afraid of what the outcome was going to be. And the other side of it was that, hey, I'm a, you know, I'm a holistic doctor. I, I want to do this naturally. I want to see how I can transition through this process and be as non-invasive to my body as I can and, and see what, what's going to come out of it. That fear thing is a—it's a trip. It's a trip because I had to face the worst thing. What was the worst thing for me? The worst thing is not seeing my kids grow up. That still still brings tears to my eyes when I think about that. That was how deep that was for me. Like, I may not be around to see my children grown and to, you know, to see them with their kids. What, what do I do, you know? So that fear thing is a trap because the moment that it sets in, you become paralyzed and you start trying to find answers and you're looking for something to make you feel comfortable to put you at ease and you don't have any of those answers that should put you at ease that's where meditation came in for me from out of nowhere just because I was in search of of not letting go of not slipping into that dark place that I realized that I was going in you know meditation was introduced in my life and when meditation meditation was introduced in my life I then also realized how important it was to pass on meditation to someone else to to share what was a healing source for me to other people as I fast forward and I realize how important, you know, everything that I was learning, um, even when I went through uh, non-traditional medicine to, to attempt to heal, I did heal. I healed a lot. 
I what did I learn? I learned um I learned how to forgive or to begin forgiving. I learned how emotionally worn down I was. I was I was worn down from a divorce for me. And you know, the two emotions that I also had to be very honest with myself about and recognizing is that, you know, resentment and guilt are the two emotions associated with um, divorce. So if you're watching this video and, you know, you've been through a divorce, going through a divorce, about to walk through a divorce, um, be careful. Be careful and be willing to embrace what emotions you're going to have when you go through something like that. So in embracing um, what real emotions were going on in my life, you know, that were also associated with why I was dealing with breast cancer, um, resentment and guilt were the two things that I had to, to deal with. So a lot of healing took place. You know, I had some people to ask me because I had to face breast cancer twice, and this is my second and last time um, of dealing with it. Um, I've been asked just a couple of times, do I have any regrets? You know, do I wish I would have gone through chemo the first time? Well, everybody kind of goes through that. Everybody asks themselves, you know, did I make the right decision? And, you know, did I do something wrong? Or, you know, was it a bad? There are no mistakes. I, I don't believe that there are mistakes in life. There are nothing but lessons. And there is something that can be learned from every decision, you know, that's made. So... Um, I healed a lot in the first phase of breast cancer and I was dealing with a lot of pain, emotional pain, and then physical pain kicked in after I thought I was through. Um, after I thought I was finished with breast cancer and I thought that I wasn't going to have to deal with it anymore, uh, there was a little small voice inside of me that said to me, you weren't done yet, and I wanted to ignore it. It was hoping that it was just something from out of nowhere that was, I was just, you know, being paranoid. But it did. It came back again. And the second time it came back again, I was, I went through a lot. I went through a lot. I, my lung collapsed. Um, my body started failing. So now it wasn't the emotional aspect. Now it was like, now that cancer is, you're trying to get cancer out, let's go and let's like really attack the body and show her, you know, put up a fight. So I was going through this fight. With, I mean, I was going through this physical fight. My, my lung collapsing, my, my ability to exercise and do and be Dr. B and be Maria and all the people that know me and know how active I've always been in my life and how busy I've always been. Oh, I got shut down. I got shut down where I could not do anything. So that brings me to where I am today because I had to face my fears. That fear that I mentioned that I had in the beginning of not wanting to go through chemo and what the outcome was going to be. I had to face my fear of, you know, still dealing with the worst thing that could happen, which I was facing. I had to face all of the things that was paralyzing me, all of the obstacles that was preventing me from moving forward in my life. And that's what really I am all about. Dr. B is all about helping other people move beyond the obstacles that prevent you from living a real life, from, from being free, from being honest with yourself, from being authentic. That's what this year, 2015, is, is all about. That's what I hope for it to be about for you. That's what I hope to teach you through this year is about being honest, about being vulnerable, about being open to receiving truth in order to recognize that there's something so much greater beyond that once you get past your fears. So breast cancer is not... Um, it doesn't have the same meaning in my life that it made for other people. There's no fear associated with breast cancer. It's nothing but lessons and education. So what I want to pass on to you and what I'd like to leave with you 
is that fear is only as powerful as you give it the power to be. And that concludes today's Bees Knees. Remember, you are beautiful. You are wonderful. I am Dr. Maria B., your holistic physician, here to help you take back your life.